My name is Nitish Kalivakoli, welcome to SS Multimedia, and today we're going to be learning about 6 and 7 as factors. Objective, today we're going to learn about 6 and 7 as factors. Let's get started. Problem 1. Multiples of 6 are any number times 6. We can find multiples of 6 by multiplying any number by 6. That basically means if you multiply 6 by 1, 2, oh, like 7, 6, 12, and 42. They're all, these are all multiples of 4. I mean, multiples of 6, sorry. Basically, it's just any number multiplied by 6. The only exception for multiples is 0. Because any number times 0 is 0. That's the one and only exception. Moving on to problem 2. Multiples of 7 are any number times 7. We can find multiples of 7 by multiplying any number by 7. This is practically the same thing. 7, 14, 21. These are all multiples of 7. 7 can be multiplied by any number except 0. And that's about that. Moving on to problem 3. You can also find multiples of 6 by doubling a specific multiple of 3. So I'm going to take 6 times 6, for example, here. And then I, the answer for that is 36. So I'm going to take 3 times 6 here, which is 18, and double that. We get 6. We get 36. And that's basically what it's trying to say. Specific multiple, it sounds complicated, but it's really simple. It's just the same multiple. You can't have like 6 times 6 and 3 times like 20. If you double this, you're going to get oh, you're going to get a you're going to get 120 and that definitely is not equal to 36. So it needs to be the same multiply multiplier, the same multiple. Moving on to problem 4. You can also find multiples of 7 by adding a specific multiple of 2 and 5. So let's put this into test. 7 times 6, 42. 5 times 6, 30. 2 times 6, 12. 30 plus 12, 42. So yeah, this works. And it still needs to be the same multiple. If you have five time, 7 times 6, you can't add 5 times 10 and 20 times 16. That That won't be the same thing. Moving on to problem five. It's a set. Find each product. Let's write all of these down. Six times seven. Six times four. Six times eight. Six times two. Six times six. Six times five. And six times nine. So for 6 times 7, that would be 42, 24, 48, 12, 36, 30, and 54. Moving on to problem 6. Same. It's a set, except this time it's for 7s. 7 times 2, 7 times 9, 7 times 7, 7 times 8, 7 times 3, 7 times 4, 7 times 3, and I'll just change that to like 7 times 10, and 7 times 6. This time, you can pause the video and try to answer these yourself. I'll wait. Alright, you probably should have unpaused by now, so let's get continuing. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 9 is 63, 7 times 7 is 49, 7 times 6 is 56, 7 times 3 is 21, 7 times 4 is 28, 7 times 10 is 70, and 7 times 6 is 42. Moving on to problem 7. Harold says, to find 6 times 8, I can use the facts 5 times 4 and 1 times 4. 
Do you agree? Explain. So he's saying to use to find six times eight, which is forty-eight. You can use five times four and one times four. Okay, I see what he's going for here. I think he's trying to add the multiple of five and the multiple of one, but the only issue is that he used four. For him to be right, it would be six times eight, and then he uses five times eight and one times eight, not five times four and one times four. So do I agree? No, and that is my explanation. You need five times eight and four and one times eight to make this correct. Moving on, problem eight. Andrew says, to find seven times three, I can use the facts five times three and two times three. Do you agree? Explain. So seven times three, he wants to use five times three and two times three. Let's check this, six, 15, 21, 15 plus six is 21. He is right, I agree. And I agree because if you add five times three and two times three together, you get seven times three. So that's my explanation. Moving on to problem nine. Problem nine, which is a set. Find every multiple of six up to 100. Ooh, this is going to be quite the tough one. Let's see here. Let's try doing some, t let's try typing instead actually. Right, that's not gonna work, so let's just write them. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, 72, 78, 84, 90, 96, and that's all we can do because the next one would be 102, and that's over 100. Moving on to our final problem, problem 10, which is a set. Find every multiple of 7 up to 100. Again, I'm going to let you viewers try it. I'll wait. Okay, you should have unpaused by now. So let's get going. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 42. Oh gosh, I am getting very rusty. 56, and after that you have 63. 70, 77, 84, 92, and 99. After that would be 106, but that's over 100. So that's that. Thanks for watch watching. Gosh, thanks for watching. Forgive me. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to know when new videos come out. And share this to anyone that might find this useful.